a baseball stadium for the Tampa Bay Rays outside of St. Petersburg. Now at six, the first step leaders in Hillsborough County are taking to explore what's become a very delicate issue. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Rotato. And good evening. I'm Jamison Euler. Wendy and Brendan are off. We begin tonight with talks in Hillsborough County about the future of the Tampa Bay Rays. County leaders are treading carefully, though. The team is still locked into playing at Tropicana Field for another 15 years. Our Eric Waxler is live in downtown Tampa tonight with the First Step County officials have agreed to take on the matter. Eric? Yeah, at the meeting here today, all the commissioners agreed they want to keep the Rays in Tampa Bay, but they are worried about taking any missteps when it comes to getting involved in what really has become a stalemate between the team and city leaders in St. Petersburg. The Hillsborough County Commission didn't vote on whether to start talking with the Rays about their future plans. They voted only to see if their attorney could research if it was even legal to do it. You may come back and say, we can't talk to them at all. Am I correct? That's correct. While everyone on the board says they need to make sure not to ruffle any feathers in St. Pete, Commissioner Al Higginbotham was the only board member completely against even taking this first step. We're going to be the boyfriend that breaks up the marriage. I'm not going to take part in that because uh, that boyfriend could have a, a big fist and a very strong arm. Commissioner Ken Hagen says he's talked with St. Petersburg leaders, including Mayor Bill Foster, making it clear Hillsborough County does not want to interfere with their negotiations. But because those negotiations seem to be going nowhere, Hagen wants to be prepared. I do not believe that the agreement prevents discussions with the Rays about their future. Rays ownership says Tropicana Field is no longer viable and they want to break their current deal that runs through 2027. When a community has a 200 to 300 million dollar a year uh, economic engine, uh, I feel it's incumbent on elected officials to do everything we can uh, to ensure that the team or this, this engine remains in our region. And so yes, for this first step, the commission did vote to allow their attorney to go ahead and see if it's legal to even talk with the Rays. And Commissioner Hagan also wanted to emphasize that any discussions will not involve a taxpayer-funded stadium here in Tampa. Live downtown, Eric Waxler, ABC Action.